The Humber is the most carbon intensive region in the UK. The Zero Carbon Humber Partnership was conceived with the goal of transitioning this region into a net zero cluster by 2040. The Zero Carbon Humber project has developed tremendous momentum since receiving a grant award from UKRI's Industrial Decarbonisation Challenge. We're looking to create low carbon industrial clusters by 2030, as well as the world's first net zero carbon industrial cluster by 2040. National Grid have history of working in carbon capture and storage, specifically in this region. Um, and we have a, a keen interest in developing the infrastructure to unlock the potential. Now, one of the very unique aspects of Zero Carbon Humber is the sheer scale of the infrastructure that we're looking to deploy. We're talking about a, a carbon and hydrogen network that will be over 100 kilometres long and capable of carrying in excess of 17 million tonnes of CO2 per annum. We're also linking up with another UKRI supported project, the Northern Endurance Partnership which will take the emissions all the way from the Humber and store them safely under the seabed. And in parallel to decarbonising uh, the Humber region, the Zero Carbon Humber project will create and protect jobs for a future low carbon industrial sector. It will drive inward investment and it will boost the competitiveness of this industrial heartland. We have a huge network of businesses that we work with and we're keen to diversify the skill sets and the manufacturing capabilities that we bring on board the Zero Carbon Humber project. Zero Carbon Humber as part of the wider East Coast cluster will protect 55,000 jobs uh, in the region that rely on carbon intensive uh, industries as well as creating thousands of new opportunities. We'll look at identifying the gaps in the supply chain, developing those gaps and creating a real knowledge base that we can use for all of the industrial clusters throughout the UK and not just the Humber region. This knowledge sharing is really critical to the development of the supply chain within the UK. We've established a formal knowledge management charter, having identified knowledge management champions across all of the organisations to ensure that the lessons that we learn as we go through this process can be captured successfully and then applied to future projects. We've got a wide array of decarbonisation technologies here, uh, whether that be hydrogen production, industrial decarbonisation or power decarbonisation. There's some very key lessons that we can learn from that, share them with the other clusters that are within this project, but also hopefully share them more widely, both across the UK and, and the world.